In the midst of the political turmoil surrounding health care, some incredible medical breakthroughs are happening right here in Tampa Bay. Nightside reporter Mark Rivera explains how Moffitt doctors are using math to treat cancer. It's called mathematical oncology. Scientists and doctors, mathematicians here at Moffitt are trying to take all the variables they can, describe them with mathematical formulas about how cancer is responding to treatment in your body. And this is the only place in the world that's doing it like this. I mean, I see this as a revolution and, and you know, I, I don't use that term lightly. I really believe it is a revolution. That's Dr. Alexander Anderson. And this room is all about solving life and death problems with math. What we're trying to do with mathematics here is predict how a patient's cancer will grow, spread, and more importantly, how it will respond to treatment. Dr. Anderson says it's kind of like how we track hurricanes with spaghetti models, taking in lots of variables and running the possible paths. His idea isn't to rid you of your cancer, but to manage it as a chronic illness, sort of like diabetes. Instead of the patient receiving um, the maximum dose, they actually receive the effective dose for them. And as soon as you do that, every patient's treatment plan is totally different. None of them are the same. He says that can keep cancer cells in control. You can see the way cancer is normally treated right now on the left. It can leave behind drug resistant tumor cells that can stay alive and grow. The math based treatment on the right shows you the tumor in control over the same period of time. I've done these cycles a number of times now over two years. Robert Butler is receiving the math based treatment for prostate cancer. There won't be so many side effects by taking lesser amounts of this drug over the period of a year. That may well be very true. Adaptive is the key word there. You're changing, adapting the dose driven by the patient's response. And that can save lives by helping you live with cancer. Mark Rivera, 10 News. Great story. One of the other potential benefits of this math-based cancer treatment method is that it can reduce a patient's expenses. Doctors told Mark that when patients are taking fewer drugs over a longer period of time, they often pay far less for their medication.